Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 011, Arithmetic, Section 2.4, Problem 17. This is Section 2.4, Problem 17. It says multiply the fractions, and we have 3 and 1 fourth times 5 and 2 thirds. So to multiply something like this, what we need to do is write both fractions so they have only a numerator and a denominator. We can't have a mixed number like 3 and 1 fourth. We have to have only a numerator and a denominator. So to accomplish that, what I'm going to do is multiply the denominator times the whole number in front. So that multiplication will be 4 times 3, which is 12. Then I take that result of 12 and add it to the numerator. So 12 plus 1 more is 13. So 3 and 1 fourth is equivalent to 13 fourths. So the first fraction has only a numerator and a denominator now. So I'll do the same process with the second fraction. 5 and 2 thirds. Let's write that with only a numerator and a denominator. So the denominator times the whole number in front. I want to multiply those values. So that'll be 3 times 5, which is 15. Then take the result I got and add. So I will be adding the 15 plus 2 more, which is 17. So my second fraction, instead of 5 and 2 thirds, can be written as 17 thirds. Now I have two fractions to multiply that only have a numerator and a denominator, no whole number mixed in. So now for the tops or numerators, I have to multiply 13 times 17. Well, that's big enough that I don't think most people will be able to do that in their head. So, off to the side, let me just multiply 13 times 17 and see what we get. So 3 times 7 is 21, write the 1, carry the 2. 3 times 1 is 3, then 3 plus the 2 more that I carried is 5, so I have 51. Then I multiply the 1 times the 17, so at first I put in a 0 to hold my place. 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 1 is 1. And now I add the results. 1 plus 0 is 1. 5 plus 7 is 12. So for 12, I write the 2, carry the 1. And then 1 plus 1 more is 2. I have 221. That will be my numerator. 221. Now, the denominator is much easier. 4 times 3. That I can do without writing it out. That's 12. So my answer is 221 over 12. And if I try to reduce that, I'll see that it doesn't really reduce. There's nothing that I can find that will divide into the 221 and the 12. Now, this is an improper fraction. The numerator is larger than the denominator. That's what makes it improper. You can, if you like, convert that to a mixed number. Now, if the directions don't specifically require you to do that, you don't have to. The 221 over 12 is a perfectly good result. Let's say the directions do require you to do that. Let's say it does say state your answer in its most reduced form, write improper fractions as a mixed number. Sometimes they'll say that. So what you do is you go off to the side and you will divide the denominator, whatever it is, in this case it's 12, into the numerator, whatever that is, in this case it's 221, and see what type of fraction you get. So 12 goes into 2, won't fit. 12 goes into 22, it'll go in one time. Almost twice, because 12 times 2 is 24, won't quite fit in twice. Fits in once. 1 times 12 is 12. Now I will subtract. 22 minus 12 is 10. And now I'll bring down the next digit. Bring down the 1. Put it after the 10. So 10 with a 1 after it is 101. How many times will 12 divide into 101? Well, I know that it's 8 times. 8 times 12 is 96. I remember that from having to multiply, uh, memorize my multiplication tables. 8 times 12 is 96. And now I'll subtract 101 minus 96. I get 5. That's the remainder. So the remainder will be your numerator. And what was the denominator, or the number in front of your division stays the denominator. So that 221 over 12 is equivalent to 18 and 512, so you, you really could write the answer either way.